<laughs> a new Necro ST set, I see. If you're a long-term viewer, you're fully aware I'm absolutely in love with this class. It's got the damage, it's got the heals, it's got the epiphany skull. I just love this class. Wow. Cringe. Last time I talked about this class for a prolonged period of time, it was my So You're Looking to Exalt Necro video which came out almost two years ago, holy crap. I actually didn't look into the set at all before I collected it, so I was actually thrilled to realize that this set is actually really good. This set does have layers, so I will get into all of them individually, starting with the Shaman Staff. The shot pattern is pretty reliable and the true range actually matches its overall range, which is a rare sight for some of the weapons released nowadays. It does look rather jarring at first, but with a bit of practice, I've had no issues with the staff at all. The damage is actually incredible. It doesn't match up to the tier 14, but let's be honest, what does? And above all else, the sprite is really nice. Something about the color palette, the dark brown and the warm glowy green really just, it just gets it. One thing that has irritated me is that for the first few hours of using it, I was praising this item and saying it's the best thing since sliced bread, only to realize that the in-game tooltip doesn't actually specify that its rate of fire is 80%. Moving on, we have got the Ritual Skull, which is by far the coolest and flashiest part of the set. On cast, you place down a Ritual Circle on the floor, which inflicts damage on enemies the closer they are to the center of it. Which is an incredible mechanic. Now triple the damage of Huntress Traps and apply that gimmick to that class fixed, you're welcome. Huh? The Skull has the capability to do anywhere between 1350 to 1650 damage on cast with diminishing returns on each proc. I can't easily calculate the damage it does overall because the training dummies in the guild tool still die in one hit, Decker Games. The Ritual Circle does apply healing to anybody standing inside of it. One thing I will say is I hope there will one day be a strategy of pairing this set with like a centaur shielding ninja to essentially give them the realm equivalent to Anna's nano boost. You're called out. Get in what? The robe is nothing crazy really, it grants low defense and 8 DPS stats which is pretty good but nothing to really rave about. The accessories are where the set gets really interesting. With the Shaman Necromancer set, you have the decision between two pieces of equipment which change how you use the set. And honestly, that is by far the coolest thing they did all year. Holy crap, this set is perfect. The Soul Gem Amulet adds a slow to the Ritual Skull, which bolsters its offensive capabilities and generally increases the amount of damage the enemy will take due to it being inside of the circle for longer. The Fang Necklace turns the Ritual Skull into a group berserk with a permanent uptime. Seems like a good idea. The Soul Gem Amulet is great for group play Play, whilst the fang necklace would be better for solo play. However, you are missing out on the skull DPS by putting the ritual circle on top of yourself, so... Wait, saying that, if you're running a dungeon without a warrior, I guess you consider both to be useful for group play, but as previously stated, the Berserk does have a permanent uptime. Equipping the full set grants 7 dexterity, 7 attack, 5 vitality, and 100 health. If you watched my Water Kensei review, I did a quick rating at the end based on 3 different things. So for this set, aesthetically, gets an 8 out of 10. The 16x16 16 16 sprite is mediocre at best and doesn't really look good with dyes, so that's where it kind of falls off for me. However, I absolutely love the sprites for this set with the best obviously being the Ritual Circle. In terms of usability, 9 out of 10. Not in any way saying this set is the best in slot, however it is good enough to be considered a main set on a character, perhaps with a Memento Mori as a swap out. Personal enjoyment, this set gets a 10 out of 10 from me. It's a necromancer so there is no chance I don't enjoy using it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.